Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tote comparison video. I did one of these about a year ago and that was with four completely different bags. So I did that with my Chanel GST, my Longchamp Les Plages, my Louis Vuitton Neuve for GM and my Goyard Saint Louis tote. Since then I've gone three all new totes and I've had a lot of requests on the individual bags to do reviews on them. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a combined one just like I did then. So the three bags I'm going to be sharing with you are in no particular order. The Louis Vuitton Neuve for M in the Damiesa with the Rose Valerie lining, the Tory Burch Perry tote, and then also the Saint Laurent shopper tote as well, which is the newest one uh, to my collection, my newest edition. I haven't had this very long at all, I've only been using it two weeks, but I've had so many requests to do a video on it, so I thought I would just bump this video up. I wasn't planning on doing it so quickly, but I know lots of you wanted to see this, so I thought I would go ahead and do it. So, I'm going to follow the exact same format as before, I'm just going to be going through each of them, sharing the pros and cons, wear and tear, and all that kind of stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm going to get started. I did also want to mention that this is going to be my last video for a little while. I'm going to be taking a short break, only about seven days or ten days or so, uh, to coincide with my holiday. I'm going to be going to Bali tomorrow, and I just don't want to stress about uploading, especially with dodgy internet connection, all that kind of stuff. So I am taking a short break, so there won't be any videos for the next week and a half or so. Um, but after that, I will be back and hopefully very refreshed and ready to go. So I'm going to be starting off with the oldest bag first, and that is my Tory Burch Perry tote right here. I got this for Christmas last year, and I've used it pretty consistently since. It is stuffed uh, because I. I just did a mini photo shoot with the bags before this uh, because I want to do an accompanying blog post with reference photos and uh, photos of the wear and tear and that sort of thing so I will leave the link to my blog post down below if you do want to see more detailed photos. I'm just going to take the stuffing out and so this is the bag and it's completely leather and it just looks like so. It's very, very simple, and so it just has the two straps, and it has the Tory Burch emblem right there. It's completely plain on the back, and then on the inside it has, uh, this particular one has a dark blue interior, and they usually do do uh, contrasting interior colors, I guess. Most of the ones I've seen have that anyway. And then you have the one pocket here with a little um, sub pocket there. You can put your phone in there or I use it for a card holder. You put anything, it's actually a very, very useful little pocket. And that's it, it's very, very plain. It is leather on the inside as well. I don't think there's any lining. I think it's just um, one piece, I'm not actually sure. But it's very, very easy to clean. It, you can just wipe it clean and it's very very durable and carefree like this is one bag that you really don't have to worry about in terms of the lining that can't be said from the other two so I will kind of talk about that later but in terms of this one it's very very carefree which I love about it so if you follow my channel regularly you will know how much of a big fan of this bag I am I absolutely love it so these retail for £355 I'm not sure what the price is in dollars but I will try and list all prices and dimensions and links and all that kind of stuff in the description section you can occasionally get these on sale as well so I I did get another perito in the burgundy colour. I got that for half off, so that's £177, which is a complete bargain and well worth the money. However, I still think they represent very good value for money, even full price. Uh, they come in a few different colours, so this is the cloud blue, I believe. This was seasonal, so this isn't available anymore, but you can get lots of other lovely colours. So there's black, there's tan, there's this kind of um, dark teal blue, and there's also a really pretty colour called French Grey, and it has a dark pink peony lining as well, which I absolutely love. I think that's my favourite from the new season. So you can get different colours, and they do regularly bring out new colours, I think. Um, obviously, mine is in the blue, and I really do like it. And I really only really have quite positive things to say about this bag. It's very, very comfortable to wear, partly because the straps are quite thick. They also don't fall off your shoulder, which I love. That can be a problem with some tote bags, but these really mold nicely to your shoulder. They don't slip off. Really great. And in general, it's a very comfortable, very easy going bag to wear. You know, you don't have to worry about it. It's this beautiful pebbled leather, which you can kind of wipe clean. I do have a few dirty marks. I do probably need to give it a bit of a clean, but really it's done pretty well. I do have a tiny bit of colour transfer from jeans right here. Nothing too crazy though and it's not the end of the world. I will try and clean that. I do have a few marks around the bottom. These are marks rather than actual wear and tear, I think, so nothing to say that the bag has actually worn. I will say that the biggest wear and tear I've seen is actually right here on the gold Tory Burch plate, if you can see that. I will try and insert a close-up, but here there is a lot of tarnishing, which I didn't actually 
actually realise until I went to take photos of everything and it's really tarnished quite badly, which I'm quite shocked about. I don't know why, I don't know if it's because some rain got in there, because it always rains in London, or if it's just natural wear. I have no idea, but that's definitely a bit disappointing. But apart from that, I would say that the bag just does extremely well. I've heard some people say about the straps and the stitching can come loose. I haven't really seen anything. There's a tiny bit of piping or glazing that looks like it might be chipping away but I mean it's so minor I don't even know whether it's worth mentioning and nothing else I can really see. The stitching looks great and I really put my totes to the test as well. I carry very heavy things, I don't baby them at all. When it comes to work bags I just want them to be functional and to make my life easier so I really put them to the test and I think this has done really well even despite the uh, tarnishing of the metal plate which obviously not ideal but really I forgive the bag because I think it's done so well in every other aspect. Um, I do also want to mention that right now the Tory Birch website in the US has got a sale on which is 30% off pretty much the entire site including the Perry Tote which is an amazing deal. I think the amazing French grey colour is included as well so I'm very jealous because it's not applicable to the UK but you guys can take advantage of it in the US so I'll leave uh, the details and the coupon code down below for that but if you're looking for one of these I would highly recommend. I really think that they're just amazing value for money. Up next is my Louis Vuitton Neville and I'm going to take the stuffing out of this one as well. And so everyone knows this bag, I feel. This is the MM size and so it is a little bit taller than the Tory Burch Perry. I kind of bring this along. So if you can see, let me just do it like this. So that is kind of what they look like. I'm just holding them steady like that and the Neville is definitely a little bit taller but it's also a little bit slimmer so it's not quite as wide as the Tory Burch Perito. Really there's not much in it and all three of these bags are very similar in terms of size and capacity so if you were going to choose between them I don't know if you'd necessarily pick that much on size. Um, I will say this is a little bit more narrow though especially because of the shape as well so it does kind of taper in whereas the Tory Burch Perry and the Saint Laurent tote are straight bags. Uh, so this is just a very simple tote. You can close this obviously but it's just with the kind of fastening right there so it's not a metal clasp closure or anything like that and then on the inside you have the beautiful rose ballerine lining you do have a pocket right there which you can zip and then you also get the little pochette as well which you can um, take off otherwise it does attach by the d-ring i absolutely love this pochette i do think it's worth the money i know lots of people were annoyed when they were first introduced because they didn't think that it was worth the price increase but i really like it i think it's a nice feature and it's actually one of my favorite things about this bag i use this a lot i'm very very glad to have it with me so um i think this is great i generally have it just loose like this so I can grab it and go if I need to uh, but you can attach it if you want to. So yeah, um, I have had this since April, so I've used it a fair bit. It is beginning to patina a little bit and I will just grab my other Neville to show you the difference in colour. So this is what the patina will eventually look like. This is about three or four years old now. It's quite dirty as well, but it has patinaed a lot, whereas the Vachetta here is very new in comparison. Um, you can see it honeying a little bit, and I do get a lot of questions about the Vachetta, but it honestly doesn't bother me that it's gonna patina. It's just something I accept about these bags, and I don't mind it. It's not an issue for me, but I know lots of people don't like it, so definitely want to consider. With this particular bag, I will also say that the interior is very delicate, so so there are crazy marks on this bag and I had those from week one. Whatever you put in here, even if you don't carry dirty things in your bag, which I don't really think I do, you know, I don't put shoes in here or anything, uh, you will get kind of black dirty marks. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There are marks all the way around the lining. Um, you probably won't be able to see that clearly because of the lighting, but I have taken pictures. So again, uh, refer back to my blog post, but something to keep in mind with this specific lining. Personally, I love the lining with this bag and that's a big reason why I love the lining. I don't like the beige version so much, so I'm happy to put up with it. Um, I do just clean it with uh, antibacterial wipes and a little bit of vanish spray if necessary and that does seem to do the trick. So for me, I'm happy to put up with it, but if you're particularly conscientious about marks and they really bug you, then something to consider. But I really like it. Um, no other wear and tear, you know, these are very, very durable bags and yeah, just a great functional tote.
Last but not least is my Saint Laurent tote, and this is the newest bag. It does actually come with lots of stuffing, which I do like. It came with its own stuffing in a dust bag, which is great. This wasn't the dust bag that came with it. You get another fancy dust bag for this bag, but you get a dust bag for your stuffing, which is great. So it keeps it all nice and together. Um, so this is the bag. As I said, I've been using this for two weeks, so it hasn't been a huge amount of time, but I can already see little bits of wear and tear, and I do kind of have a few first impressions that I thought I would share. So this is what it looks like. You do have the little YSL, which you can either kind of keep out there or you can hide away if you want it to look a little bit more subtle. So you just pop it back in there. No one will be any wiser and you just have the very subtle Saint Laurent. So I definitely think this is the most subtle of all the bags, followed by the Tory Burch, because you do just have that small little logo, followed by the Neville, which is obviously fully kind of monogram. So, well, not monogram, but the, the Louis Vuitton print. So that's what it looks like. Very plain on the back again. You do have this metal closure and then it's a very kind of raw interior. So I don't know if this is just raw leather. I think it is, I don't think it's a suede, but it's just a very raw untreated leather. And then you also get the little pouch that comes with it as well. And that is attached, although you can take it off. It's a little bit tangled, but you don't have any pocket, which is quite particular to this bag. I know most totes do come in the pocket. This is completely clear of anything like that. So you literally only have the pouch. I know some people get very annoyed by that. And it is a little bit annoying. I would have preferred that it did come with a pocket, but I have been able to make do with the pouch. Um, I actually use pockets for my Oyster card, so my travel card, just for easy access. And I've just learned to kind of put it in here and make sure this is kind of more near the top of the bag. So this has been working absolutely fine, but I totally get if you think that you need to have a pocket because it's pretty central and I'm not really sure why they decided against it, but it's a very minimal tote because of that. Um, as I mentioned, the straps are very comfortable, they're very thick and just very easy to kind of put on your shoulder and go. They don't slip off at all. They are quite floppy as well, so they don't really stand up. So very malleable and very nice to carry on your shoulder. So obviously I've only been using this bag for two weeks, but there are little bits of wear and tear to mention. Uh, the most notable are the interior marks. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. As I said, I did take pictures in case the lighting was a bit blinding on camera, but for whatever reason, they didn't treat the inside leather. And so whenever you have anything up against the bag, which I always do, because I literally sling everything in my tote bags, uh, it basically grazes the leather and it creates like a little white mark. And these white marks aren't very easy to get rid of. In fact, I haven't been able to get rid of any of them. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's full of these tiny little white marks. And that's literally just things brushing up against it. And I'm not talking particularly sharp things. It's literally just gonna be my laptop and my makeup bag and my phone and things like that. And they just repeatedly go up against the bag and it'll cause a little scuff mark. And when it first happened, I was really quite concerned because I was like, wow, I've literally used this a day. And it's continued to get worse, but at the same time, I can see with time how it could just look like it's almost a used suede or like a brush suede, if that makes sense. It's not, but I can see how it would perhaps look less bad over time. At the moment, it's still quite new, so I can really see the marks. And to be honest, I have no idea why they didn't line it or treat the leather in some way, but definitely something I noticed straight away and I think it was quite an odd choice on their part because it is an expensive tote so this is 590 pounds for the money I would have expected them to do something with the lining but at the same time if you're not someone that gets fussed about that sort of thing then this would still be a great option I do still really like the look of it I think it's very very elegant it's obviously very minimalistic you know it's not too in your face I know the nerve full is an acquired taste and not everyone likes the Tory Burch Perry tote especially with a little Tory Burch sign even though I think that's quite unstated. I get how other people might not like it. So for someone who likes really minimal things, then this tote is still a really good option, I think. So far, I really enjoy it. I like how comfortable it is, and it does seem to be fairly fuss-free in terms of the exterior, which is actually what matters to me more. So I have had a few marks on this, and it's been rained on a little bit. I put lotion on my arms, so I was also a little bit concerned, but so far, it seems to be absolutely fine. It seems very easy to wipe clean, so that's really great. So it's just really the interior to consider. I will insert some modeling shots as well, but I did just very quickly want to talk about my personal preference. So I have a very special place in my heart for the Tory Burch Perry Tote, mainly because I think it's the best value for money. You know, it's all leather. It's very well made, I think, even with the slight tarnishing issues. For me, it's just a great
great bag and it also has all the elegance of the other two but at a much lower price point so I really love the Prairie Tile, I love the colour combinations, I just think it's a fantastic bag so if you're looking for an affordable daily tote then I think that would definitely be the winner. That said I love all three and so unlike my previous tote comparison video where I wasn't that sure about my Goyard and my Chanel GST, I love all three of these and I would recommend them all so if you have a particular favourite and are looking to get it then I would say get any of them really because I think you'd be happy with any of them but just keep in mind the things that I mentioned you know the interior issue on the Saint Laurent and the uh, Vachetta patina ring on the Louis Vuitton you know they all have their little quirks and there isn't one perfect tote but I think that they are all great options and I feel very lucky to have them all in my collection I really do like them all. Okay so these are the three totes that I have and as you can see I mean they're really pretty comparable sizes there isn't a huge amount of difference between them. The biggest difference I think are actually the handle drops here. But this is what they all look like on me. So for reference, I am five foot seven. I'm gonna do two at a time to make this a bit speedier. So the Saint Laurent tote and the Neville. And then swapping the Neville out this is the Peritote. are just wearing it on the crook of the arm. I think they really all look in proportion. They're not massive totes, and they do still offer a nice size. So that's it for this video you guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you feel like I missed anything out or if you have any other questions then leave them for me in the comment section. As I mentioned I will try and leave more details in the description bar so I'll leave dimensions and prices in USD and GBP and links and all that kind of stuff so check down there but if you have any other questions then by all means let me know. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Bye guys!